Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. Right, it is just about to break dawn. Here we go. Sun is coming up over the lake. Looks beautiful as usual. Um, got a bear down there. Uh, let's have a quick look at the map and see if we have any hunters nearby. No, they are more difficult to see. But I can just see a campfire over there. So we don't want to go over there today. Oh, we've got a campfire here on the island. Um, so what we could do for something a little bit different is, is to sort of head over past the lake and, and over in the uh, this old area. That might be interesting. Uh, alternatively, we could come down here and try and get some pearls. Um, okay. Uh, well, the plan. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful sunrise there. Uh, the plan for today, if I stop wasting power, I don't have a lot of biofuel. Um, so I want to get some um, wolves if I can. I've only got four and I'm saving that for when I have enough ash to make some more adhesive. Uh, we've got eight adhesive there. I've been making some uh, circuit boards over overnight, uh, made a bit of rope. Um, I did get a lock crate in between last episode and this. Um, it was a rainy, one of those rainy, horrible days, so I stayed quite local and took out a couple of wolves, took out a cougar, but before I could get to the cougar to harvest it, um, I had to take out um, a bear. And by the time that was all sorted, the cougar despawned, so I was a bit gutted about that. Um, but we need biofuels, so that's the plan today. And I'm going to need 50, 50 mass, I think, in order to make what I'm hoping to make when we get home. Uh, the reason for me making all of these circuit boards and looking at my adhesive uh, I want to make another solar panel, so we've got the stuff. We just need to build the mass up when we get back, um, and that should be uh, that should be a good thing to do today. So, um, yeah, let's head down in that direction over there. Let's make sure we're fed. Uh, yeah, we'll need food. I've got some protein bars on me. Uh, we'll need. A, I'll take an extra tomato, and that will save me. Uh, Save me having to use any resources. I'm going to drink one of those water. Right, so I don't have a lot of ammo as you can see. But let's head out and go and do a nice run. And uh, just grab what we can, I guess. Might get a bit of wood here and there too. Uh, yeah. Oh, that hasn't respawned from the last time I hit it. That's fine. Let's grab this tree, I guess. There we go. Beautiful sunny day. Much better than uh, when I loaded into the game and there was a full-on storm raging, so... nice to record those days sometimes um, just because they're so atmospheric but also this is much nicer right okay so where do we want to go? I see some scrap. I'm going to grab that because um, I don't have an awful lot of it. So scrap will be another one of those things I'm going to be looking out for. Did I hear... Did I hear a weapon? You know, I'm pretty sure I heard a weapon up there. A weapon swap, like um, the hunter sound. Let's go down here because of the uh, the bear. There could be hunters up there that maybe I just hadn't revealed on the map yet. Right, there's a, a bear down there. Kind of trapped here. 
let's run around. I don't want to go too far this way because there, there was a, um, a hunter camp definitely showing up over in this direction. Right, good. Okay, let's have a, a look at this pond. Is it clear? Seems to be. Let's have a quick dip and awesome, let's get some pearls. We're going to need more circuit boards moving forward. And uh, I'm still collecting kelp or chickens when we get a uh, animal housing. What is that over there? Is that just an ore or just a design on the rock, I think? Oh, I see another clam. Uh, is that two or is that sandstone? Yeah, sandstone. Well, let's get this that's a quick easy win and let's get the sandstone as well because we are going to need more glass more windows for upstairs eventually wow I keep thinking I'm hearing things very nervous around this lake just because of the, the hunters coming here to fish and we'll grab the kelp before we surface Good. Okay. Pretty, pretty decent. So we're probably going to head up into the edge of the Green Valley. Uh, I'll make sure I keep a uh, shotgun out. And we'll just try and get as many crates as possible. Lots of scrap. What are you? Sorry, a different colour over there. Lots of scrap. Hopefully some uh, electrical components. Yeah, let's go the, the most easily uh, uh, visible direction. It's got nice and open, we can see where we're going. Now do we want to grab chickens and rabbits? Uh, yeah. Are you going to stop? You're not going to stop, but I'll get you anyway. I'm going to go for rabbits, just for the cloth. Uh, we could get wood here. Not seeing any crates so far. What would be nice to do is to find the uh, the fence and just follow that round and just open, oops, open that up a little bit. Again, opening up the map. I'm going to grab this uh, tree. So we're in July, and the year is moving on quite rapidly. Having the configurable number of days is um, is a game changer. It really makes the the game playable again. It was too too strict before on how quickly you had to do everything before uh, winter struck. So um, this is much much nicer. Oh, just shot over his head. I just want to have a good look around and see if we can see uh, anyone on the, well in the valley. It uh, looks empty to be honest, at first glance anyway. Oh, <laughs> I should have, uh, should have checked to see where he ran to. That's fine, we'll go for the berry over here. I'm thinking about going and getting that rabbit after all. Maybe we'll run through the uh, the forest. There he is. Oh, he stopped early. I anticipated. 
him moving a little bit more than that, but he didn't, so. Right, well, you can go free. Failed miserably in uh, tracking down a rabbit today. What are you? You're a chicken, I think. What's I looking for here? Yeah, I'm needing these medicinal plants. This isn't the ideal... Hmm. Excuse me. Losing my voice. Hmm. This isn't the ideal place to hunt for um, medicinal plants. Don't think we need a uh, chicken. Um... Because of the colour, the uh, the amount of green. Excuse me, just a second. Need a, a nice cup of tea. Right. Okay. Well, this is nice getting to run around down here. We don't normally come this far. Uh, we do need some wolves. Um, there's a couple there we could take out. I don't know if the meat would go off by the time we get back. We are hot um, and we do have a, uh, a convenient lake just here that we can wash. So yeah, let's do this. Ooh, okay. I uh, don't know whether he's going to come over. I think we've got time. Okay, we'll grab you and let's go for the second one. Try and oh, there are rogues over there. Oh, don't be distracted, right? Okay, good job that we spotted him when we did. So I'll go and very quickly wash up at the lake and we'll move on, we'll go somewhere else. So I'm not seeing those rogues because, oh, he sort of saw me there. Yeah, we'll run, we'll run over here and go and wash, wash hands well away from those guys. I'm thinking I'm hearing myself. I'm just going to get in here because of the... Right, we're, we're within range of the... Um... Oh my gosh, get out of the water. Yeah, we're within range of their camp there. So we'll leave them be. How much biofuel did we get from that? Four. Yeah, that's not great. That meat might go off before we get back. There's a level two wall. Kind of thinking of uh, taking him out just because he growled at me, but. Are you following me? The way he's gone. Oh, there's a, there's a deer over here. Where are you? Yeah, you come here now because you've growled at me a couple of times now. And uh, we'll see the difference between a level 3 wolf and a level 2. Uh, of course I've got to wash my hands again now. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, I'm wondering whether it might just be better to run back over here. And very quickly do that without hopefully triggering these guys. They do roam quite far these days. Oh. oh, of course. Great. And my stamina's dropping because of the temperature. Let's get away from him so he stops chasing. And we'll turn around and take him out. Ooh, we might run out of stamina soon. Right, he's still following me. Go around the rock. I think he's stopped now. What we don't want to do is pick up another animal. Right, where did you go, cheeky? 
There you are. Right, good. Okay. You you were on me quicker than I thought there. That turned out okay, actually. Could have gone nasty. Um, let's, uh, I'll tell you what, I might use one of those waters. Rather than running all the way back over there, we'll have some berries and you. I'm going to have to drink. Okay. Mmm. Well, this is uh, very interesting. I could take a couple of um, clothes off. Take the um, helmet off. It's going to have an effect. Could take the shirt off as well, but it's usually just an um, an event that happens in the middle of the day, so we can just mitigate it enough. Then we should be okay. Uh, I see some more scrap up there. I just want to very quickly wash hands, but hopefully. Not gonna go in the water this time. We'll just very quickly wash hands and run away. Hopefully that's not enough to trigger them to be uh, too interested in me. Okay. So much loot down in the valley, it's um Well is there? Well that's the question. Oh blimey. Okay. Or can you just see further so you can actually see the loot more easily? I think it's a bit of both, really. Right, okay. Hmm. We've got ten, ten fats, so that's uh, not too bad. Are we uh, looking now? I should have filled that water up so I could wash my hands. Oh, that could turn out to be... A bit of an error. I completely forgot. I don't know if there's anywhere else that we're going to be hitting on this run for uh, for water, really. There really needs to be a little bit more water on the map. I think even if there are just a couple of springs or... I don't know. Odd places that you can uh, fill up. We'll see if we can make it. I should have brought some more water out with me, being July. Um, let's stop and get a little bit of wood. Some nice, uh, I think these are four log trees. I don't know how many that was. I can't remember. I wasn't really paying attention. Right, let's count this one. One, two, yep, four log trees. Okay, good. All right, what have we got over here? We've got a crate, we've got a wolf, we've got lots of chickens. Uh, quite a few crates, actually. Uh, that's actually a bear. Bit of a difference. Oh, nice. Now, I would like this bit of ore if we can. Nice. And there's the deer that we were after. Um, of course, that means having uh, mucky hands again. I don't know whether that's... That might be dangerous for me to take that out and continue running around for the rest of the day without having enough water to wash my hands with. Uh, because I am going to need to drink this water that I have with me here. So, uh, yeah. Might have to leave that deer. Uh, there's some ore on the rock there. We could do a little bit of... Uh, climbing. I think if we can drop down 
Have a look what's up here first. Yep, we're fine, I think. So where is that? Uh, it's on like a second level, but then how do we get up from... Yeah, no, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> that looks like a broken leg waiting to happen, doesn't it? Oh, that's a, an ammo crate. This meat's going to go off for sure. Right, we've got our temperature sorted now. Oh, no, don't do that. I did that this time with um, pickaxe or something. Um, we're going to have to drink that water. Hopefully we'll find some water in a, uh, a crate or something. Right, just while it's quiet here, let's have a little look at the map. Let's run down the fence line and just follow this all the way around. Um, and we can come out down here. Uh, maybe check out a few pearls in the lake. Um, finish the day off. And uh, note to self to make sure that I bring out more canteens with me on these hot summer days and probably take those um, padded jacket, padded armour and the helmet off a little bit earlier. I'm going to grab the tree, the grub tree here I think. See if there are any wolves nearby. Hmm. There's a crate though. Looks fairly quiet animal wise right now. So I am keeping all the grubs and the kelp to feed chickens uh, when I get the animal housing eventually so I don't have to use all my uh, tomatoes. I think that'll be a, a good course of action. I did that in one of my other playthroughs um, and uh, worked out quite well. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly you get down here to the lake. Just want to make sure I open up all of this uh, area of the map. Let's have a quick look. Uh, oh no. Yeah, I can't go up there to, to open that any further, that's fine. Right, we'll go and grab the big tree. And then we'll uh, go and look for some pearls. Usually some nice, uh, ore Along here. On the rocks, but um, I see an ammo crate down there. That'll do for the moment. Okay, so we have some rogues on that little island. Am I missing any more crates here? No, that's fine. Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, excellent. I need those uh, rifle ammos. Uh, I see another crate over there, but let's just check for some uh, pearls first. This um, section here is normally pretty good. Ah, of course it is barren today. There's a little bit of um, kelp there. Have a look around the corner. I think I'm seeing... yeah, I'm seeing one pearl. Uh, we'll stop for the kelp. This is the place to be on a hot summer day. Wow, we have our fortress base up on the uh, cliff there, looking quite established. They do have a, a ways to go, but um, definitely more progression since we last came down here for a look. Wait, let's see if we can get anything else. Make this worthwhile. I haven't got as many bags as I was hoping, but you know, we've got a good mix of things and got some food. Just got to keep a, a, a listen out now for 
Um, hunters may be coming down here for fishing, so... Oh, there's a, there's a clam. I think we can dive to that one. They're all spawning in there. I think this new method, I understand this new method of spawning um, for the resources, uh, for performance, but it's, uh, yeah, it's very different. It's uh, taken some getting used to for me after the years I've been playing. You definitely have to sort of sit in an area for a while before you get the the true picture of what's uh, what's around to loot. Is that two pearls down there? Ooh, do you think we can get those? They look quite deep. I'm gonna go for them. Might need to do one at a time. There's no sprint underwater now, of course. If I can time this right, we might take a bit of a health hit. But I think it'll probably be worth it. Right, up as quickly as possible. I think I'm going to gasp for breath. And get away with just two. Three. Not ideal, but it's okay. Good. Okay, I think we should start making our way back up towards home now. Um, is that a wolf? That's quite near the hunter base. I was thinking of taking that wolf out. Oh, you know what we should do while I'm in here? Pop the water up. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take that wolf out just because some of this is going to go uh, bad. Let's try and get him down here a little bit. I keep pressing the wrong key for that. Let's grab you. Right, at least biofuel doesn't... Well, the uh, the fat doesn't go off. That's good. Now, how many uh, shotgun shells? Yeah, that's... Uh, I've only got four shotgun shells. Whatever's in the weapon right now. Uh, we could take you out, but again... Only four shotgun shells. If we ran into any hunters on the way back and got into a fight. Yep, I've not got a lot of stuff to work with. Right, let's grab some bits and pieces on the way back. This is such a gorgeous sunset in this area. Just the angle of the sun and that glare like that does make it quite difficult to see what's around on the floor but it's very pretty oh and I almost missed that so I'm kind of keen to get this stuff back to the fridge um, it'd be nice to not waste this food I don't know where that wolf is I assume he's behind me it would be nice to get it into the fridge and, and not waste that food. So uh, let's see, what do we need? Let's just do that. That will help a little bit. Really, we need some water. No ores on the rock here. Very nice. Okay, I'm quite happy. It, it wasn't... Um, you know, we, we haven't come back with completely full inventory, but um, I'm pretty happy with what we did get. Let's put the food away immediately so it doesn't go off. Uh, get that fuel in there. Even the rabbit managed to hang on for us to get back, so that's good. Okay, right, we need 50 mass to make this um, solar panel. I do have 50 wood portions to one side here so let's get that recycled I could make sticks and get a little bit more bang for my buck but I don't think it's uh it's worth it look at the haul of um pearls we came back with six pearls that's pretty good we can make one shotgun shell I'm gonna I'm gonna make uh I'm gonna make that 
No, we can't. It's six. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not to worry. And the 12 scraps pretty good, but look at our um, electrical components again. I need to do more looting. There's no other way around it. I am not doing enough looting. Right. Let's have you and you and you. And we're in a good, good place right now. Uh, oh, we've got some extra nails we could recycle. I think I will do that because uh, we're going to be sort of low. And we've got a bit of you, sandstone, and a bit of iron in there too. Right, let's grab the materials we need. So we need three circuit boards, uh, one row, and I think it might be ten scrap. Which was why I was so keen to, to get out there and get scrap. Oh, and four adhesive. Okay, good. Um, oh, I can make, hopefully, more adhesive now. There we go. Right, good. Solar panel. Craft, please. Make sure that we leave plenty of power. Yep, we're good. For the... Uh, the fridge that's the one thing i'm always worried about now um those three antlers together with the biofuel and the, the ash have made me another five adhesive so we're, we're not too bad we're not doing too badly i picked up those uh, glass panels from the locked crate that i got in between episodes by the way right let's go and put the solar panel up um yeah, we're fine for food. Let me get some water very quickly before we do anything else. There we go. I like this little ramp up, um, <clears throat> sorry, this little ramp up the stairs. Right, let's get up here. I'll put this light on. And I'm going to grab... Oh, I do need to top those up as well. Oh, look at this. We've got a crop of tomatoes. Yep. Oh, a couple of them are a little bit slow. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to put that cotton seed in. And I think I have... Yeah, I've got another cotton seed in here. Let's put that weapon away. Before I shoot my plant bed. go and how are you doing yeah you need water as well may as well top them completely up put those seeds back away you're fine and yeah you're not too bad um i think the next thing i'm going to craft is going to be a wood burner a second wood burner we'll have it running up here and that's going to help with the fertilizer with the ash situation because as you can see we are running quite low uh, we've got 45 uh, tree grubs for our chickens when we get that sorted uh, right let's put this solar panel up not that it will be any use to us to tonight but let's get that done so yeah that'll that'll do there <laughs> They're kind of hanging over the uh, the edge. That's fine. Well, that'll start to help during the during the day when we're out running around. I'll probably get another two, one either side, and have four on here. Uh, these are lovely and fully upgraded now. And during that storm, they definitely did make a difference. So that was good. Turn this light up, and let's go and fill the water up. So we've achieved everything we wanted to do today. Um, may as well have a quick drink while I'm here. Turn you off again. Trying to save power where I can. Right, awesome. 
Uh, fuel bricks fine. We've got 45. I'm keeping that ash. Uh, I'm going to grab that biofuel. We'll top that up as much as we can. I hear a cougar. Right, yeah, you're down. Down there. But we'll see if you make your way up up here to this kind of level sometimes you do kind of walk walk around and up by the front door that's a lovely lovely sound to have going in the background nice to hear it so close without being in any real danger Although they do swipe the building, obviously, if they hear you running around too heavy-footed. Heavy um, okay, so power-wise, not too bad. Uh, we've got some fuel now for the generator. I don't think I've got any in storage. Um, so this next batch, I really need to, uh, I need to keep this for my sort of emergency supplies. Um, we could make a little bit from the plants that we've picked up. I want to keep a couple of these just in case we need to make um, medicinal tonic. Um, although I'm really using what I'm getting from the lock crates, so it, it hasn't honestly been an issue. So we've got 10 sitting here. We've got eight um, health kits. We can make another couple of health kits. It's only two, two a pop, so... Um, we could make, that's a point, we could make another antidote. Uh, we've got three there. Five and one. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. I had to use one a while back. Um, and I do like having two, two in storage, just, just to be safe. Oh, let's put the tomatoes away. I'll keep all of the excess on me. I don't think it will it'll hurt. Let's put that away. Where's this rendering do? I've got another three there. Got one more to put upstairs. Where did the cougar go? We'll have a look out the window now. It's getting a bit light. Must remember to carry more water with me. Uh, I don't know where you've gone. Have a look outside. No, I'm not sure where you've gone. Are these near near ready? No, they're probably gonna be another another day. Well, I think that's a decent place to leave this episode. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.